13 News Now promotes facts, not fear. The COVID-19 pandemic is taking a toll on the Commonwealth. We're seeing a rise in cases, in hospitalizations, and in deaths. And now every health district in Hampton Roads has a positivity rate higher than the state's average. Dan Kennedy has a breakdown of the rising numbers. Virginia added 3,295 new COVID cases today. We have seen more than 3,000 cases a day since about here early this month of December, and it's helping to drive that two week moving average up. Also moving up would be hospitalization statewide. Another day, another record number of COVID patients in Virginia, another 10 patients added to the count today for a total of 2,409 hospitalizations. And unfortunately, our state's death rate is trending up at a troubling rate. 187 people have died this past week from COVID in Virginia. There's only been two other times we've seen uh, the death rate this bad in our state. It was back here when the pandemic first began in early May. And then at the end, uh, the tail end of that late summer surge, back uh, around the end of September as well. Statewide, the positivity rate inching higher each day, 11.8%, and officially every health district in Hampton Roads is higher in that. Hampton and Chess Chesapeake especially with 14% and greater. Norfolk, about 12%. That's the lowest in our area. Taking a closer look at Hampton, it's our area's hotspot. 42 new cases added today. Actually, the fewest we've seen in nine days in Hampton, but as you see on the chart, certainly uh, we are seeing some post Thanksgiving spread there, a real thing in Hampton. The two week moving average up at a steep incline. Staying on the peninsula, James City County reported its most cases this entire pandemic today with 44 new infections. And then on the south side, Norfolk is the only city with a chart showing anything resembling a rounding of the curve on that two week moving average. We're looking at three straight days of declining cases in Norfolk. Have a safe and healthy weekend. I'm Dan Kennedy for 13 News Now.